Warning. The following video clip contains offensive and vulgar language such as fuck, bitch and whore. Viewer discretion is authorized. You cheeky bastards. How's it going bros? It's Mace from Bizarre Gaming. And we're back in Dishonored. <laughs> and as we're back, let's sleep. Sleepy time. Go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so evil. Sleeping is bad for you. Fact. Do we meet the outsider? Oh no, talk to Hammerlock. Okay. Uh, do do do. Huh. Ah, did jump. Huh. Yeah. I know the golden cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. I know what he thought. He thought you wanted a bang. Those inventions? Dildos. Let's go. The dude's over here. Let's walk in like a badass. Okay, be like, Whoa, I'm here. What up? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Willie. Uh, I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the oh, storm drains beneath the building. Oh, it wasn't me stealing Most your shit. A weeper, the uh, yes! Weeper! No hope for the Not me. Play gets that far Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects. If you Ooh. I'd appreciate you investigating. Good. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's yeah. the key to the hatches. Go. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot I'm at. Loot! Maybe Piero <laughs> can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Oh my god, I've already got sleep. I've already got that, bro. Okay. Got this. So, let's get the eye up. Show me loot. Ooh, there's something there. What is this? Mmm. No, 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 no. Oh, I hear them. Oh, money. Money. Haha. <laughs> Wait, let's let's hard it up. That's definitely underground. Yeah, that's underground. Oh, there's money. Well, there's not money, there's loot in there. Ooh, that's a dude up above. Oh, okay. There's one. What are you doing, bro? Can I cue these people? Oh! You can see me. How? Turn around! Ooh. A lot of guards are really easy to take out. These guys, I'm like, hmm. I don't want to use my crossbows. The bows of crossing. Well, the sleeping guards. Turn around. Turn round. Oh. Yeah, or maybe just do that so I can cue. Okay. Cued one. Eh. I'll place you here so you don't drown. Actually, you should probably go and drown. Oh well. Okay, now Q! Ugh. Take your both out. Wait, but I'm not meant to get rid of them. All I'm doing is just queuing them. 
Just gonna kill your face. I'm gonna kill you. Sweet. Is there any loot? Here, loot! Oh, some loot in here. Oh, money! Okay. I'm sorry. Ooh. One room. Ah. Loot. Ooh. Oh, nom 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 nom. Oh, sewage berries. Ooh, wait, is that loot? Oh, money. Money loot. Got anything through here? Hello? Oh, this would be an epic. Like. Okay. Go side to side. Hmm. It's all loot back here, so we're gonna go back here. Just those two bodies just chilling out. Is that the ceiling? I thought that was like an underground passage. Oh, also, oh, there it is. <laughs> Mine. Haha. <laughs> Also, uh, we're going to check all the voice recorders and stuff, just in case. Hello? You went down there in the sewers? Yes, I did. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. There were two weepers. Probably the bravest man I've ever met. Oh. Overseer Martin has arrived. Ooh. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. I'm the bravest man, eh? Can I, you know, get dust some? Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Oh, he's over there. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no. Uh, where is it? Oh, om nom nom nom. Mm. There's no glasses. I think I smashed them all over their heads. <laughs> Corvo. I trust yeah. you remember Martin. Yeah, I remember him. Didn't want to save him. Perhaps again someday soon. He won't be. I owe you thanks for my rescue. I know Indeed, you do. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. <gasps> done it. We know nice. where Emily Caldwin is being held. <gasps> do you? The golden where is she? Cat of all places, a bathhouse for aristocrats, little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. So it's a whole house. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The oh. twins, Morgan and Custis. Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely. Of course so she must. Protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. Of course, because I'm killing his brothers. Now, let's listen to their stuff. Because it seems like every time I sleep or come back here, they reset. Bottles! Uh, are you trying to have some loot for me? What do you've got to say, Pendleton? Chapter 32. As yet, I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. Oh. Twins they are, and four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight bit. From earliest memory, they abused me in every way. Oh, that's not good. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique. I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it assorted vipers they had collected over several weeks. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me barely alive. What did I had kicked a few serpents to a pulp and others had slithered away. But not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, and face. The wounds kept me convalescing for months while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallace! Bring me wine. Bring me wine. <laughs> Tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my tenth birthday, Body. Oh, when we come back, I want to hear that. What did they give him on his 10th birthday? Oh! What did I sneak in on? Ah, you're finally back. Ah, okay. Excuse me, Admiral. I was delayed. 
Pay close attention to your duty, miss. It will never work without Emily. And when she gets here, you will be her nurse and teacher. In a way, you're more important than Corvo here. You what? mean you found her? We have her location. And I'm sure Corvo will whisk her back here in no time. You, Miss Kerna, are tasked with tending to the most important person in the Empire. Tend to her every need. Educate her. Train her in graces. Cut her meat, if you must. Do whatever is needed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Oh crap! Uh, I wasn't overhearing you. Oh, pub room key. Yeah, I, I went overhearing you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Corvo wouldn't do that. You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. Is that so? In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Ha <laughs> ha! Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. Lol. Get pwned. Anything in the toilet? My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. I did. I slept fine. Let's see. Let's go to Piero and see what stuff. Oh, he doesn't he have a voice recorder? Wait, let's a let's see if he does. Oh, look, there's a voice recorder up there, but there's one over here. And there's more loot. There's loot. Ooh, was this here before? My name is Samuel. This machine was tossed into the river by the Admiral, but I fetched it. And oh. it appears to be working. Let's see if it is. Test. 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 There Test. We go. Well, Sam, you got your own voice recorder now. Be listening to that. Corvo, a moment if I may. Yeah, wait a minute. So the recorder was upstairs and also portals. Ah, uh, hey, you. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something? For I don't you? know. I want to see. Yeah. Let's have a look what you got. So, so I got full of them. How many have I got? Nine um, upgrades. What can I upgrade? Uh, uh, accuracy. Optics. <gasps> yeah, I'm. I'm getting that. I can carry more. Yeah. Now let's listen to your book. I'm getting a frequency reverberation that confounds some of my experiments. I suspect there are some kind of empty chambers beneath this building. In a district this old, anything is possible. Was that it? Do you think? Ah. Uh. I want him to refill his thing. But apparently it does not work. Oh well, let's speak to you, the Pendleton. Ah. Hello. Corvo. Yes? I've asked to speak to you myself. I know. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and yes. Custis. Well, you hate them. Men. Yeah. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Can I have some of that? Further, my <laughs> brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament... We cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. Okay. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Ah. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. Ah. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch. So it'll be dangerous. Well, now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I want some of that drink. Samuel, my old buddy. And you know this dude right here? Where is he? This dude. Don't know what his name is. What's your what's your name? Overseer Martin, I think you are going to betray me. 
I don't know who's not going to betray me, but I think he's definitely going to betray me. And Samuel, you're a good man. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. <laughs> oh, so he likes going to the whole house. Where, well, bros? As we go to the Golden Cat, we end the episode. This was a lot of doing nothing this episode apart from listening. <laughs> oh, I'm awesomely killing those two weepers. But, sub if you like my stuff and to join the Hazara army today. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. Thank you. you Maybe you want to like me on Twitter? On like me? Maybe you want to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me on Steam. I want to do more stuff with the fans. You know, play some games, whatever. Live stream. Stuff like that. And, uh... Smack Jaw? If he don't kill you. No. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. Well, thank I you, Samuel. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Well, be careful going up the street. Apart from that, from me, Mason. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me Peace. last night and said there's 